news that's now out is that Robert Francis Kennedy Jr. will drop out of the presidential campaign on Friday, the day after Kamala Harris gives her acceptance speech at the Democratic National Convention. The traditional media hope would be that uh, that they could carry forward Harris's speech with massive propaganda through the entire weekend into the early next week to give her the biggest post-convention boost. But given that Robert Kennedy is a, making his announcement on Friday, that basically steps on that throughout the entire weekend and into the next week. What is also ex expected, well, the where the announcement is taking place, is in Phoenix, Arizona, and it's not to a group of supporters, it's to the press. And that tells you something else uh, that is likely. And the other person in the uh, 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 that is in Phoenix on Friday is Donald Trump. So the uh, probably not a coincidence either. The uh, expect. Uh, Kennedy to endorse Trump on Friday so that he's not only uh, dropping out of the race but leveraging his influence now with millions and millions of voters in support of Trump's candidacy and campaign. The uh, Don't be surprised if he goes further and even campaigns for Trump in the fall. Uh, Trump has already stated that uh, he is uh, he that he wants to put Kennedy in a key position in the cabinet. Donald Trump Jr. floated today the possibility of the being ahead of the CIA. Uh, others have talked about uh, HHS ahead of the CDC and the FDA, uh, Department of Agriculture, uh, Environmental Department, other areas. I would say uh, HHS would be the most likely of that of that bunch. The uh, there's also the possibility of attorney general. But I think what would make the most sense and what Kennedy likely seeks is health and human services because of its influence over the Food and Drug Administration, its influence over the Centers for Disease Control, its influence over the National Institute for Health, its influence over public health policy. Uh, in the country, uh, that it controls the budgets for a lot of the scientific research concerning public health. It uh, is has the biggest direct influence over the pharmaceutical industry in the United States. It uh, a full investigation into what those agencies did during the pandemic would be fully authorized if he was in charge of HHS. So uh, expect Trump to embrace. Uh, Kennedy is part of his future administration, and that sends a second message. And the second message is to Kennedy voters, a vote for Trump is a vote for Kennedy on issues of public health. <coughs> and if you've been tracking the polling data, we did it 1776 Law Center, then you know that one of, that one of the two main issues driving the Kennedy vote, the core of the Kennedy vote, in consideration for voting for Kennedy, which went up to 30% of Americans, was concerns over medical freedom and food freedom with a focus on public health. So embracing those issues, not only good policy for a second term of, of President Trump, but also is a direct appeal to the main motivation that people had for considering Kennedy in their vote. The uh, expect this to eclipse uh, Harris's bump in expected bump in the polls, and I don't think she'll hit the double digits the media were planning on generating for her a double digit lead into next week. Already in the betting markets, as soon as the news leaked of Kennedy considering dropping out and endorsing Trump, the odds have now already flipped in favor of Trump to be elected president. So that tells you what many of the more sophisticated political betters think. 